Now we are going to see how to add a city on our terrain. Once you have a terrain generated, go to the Scene City options and make sure that the Use Terrain checkbox is enabled. With this uh, checkbox enabled, the roads and the buildings will be built on the flat area of the terrain and they will follow the, as much as possible. They will follow the mountains and the coast and won't be built on, for instance, below the water or on the mountains. So the next step is to import the library of roads and buildings. Choose a, a layer in which you want to put them, for instance, this one, and just click on this button. Now you have all the objects and models from the library. If we go back to the terrains layer, we will now place the roads, a random network of roads. And we have to decide where we want to place, to place them. In the current version of Sin City and Sin Terrain, there is no way to exactly choose where you roads should be or there is no way to hint to give a hint to the generator to, to place the roads that will be fixed in a future future version but for now we have to play with the with the randomness uh, with the random seed sorry so just like i said before that it's a good idea to set a seed other than zero for your terrains here, is, it's a good idea to set a seed other than zero for your city, so you can retrieve it later if you, if you need. So I place the roads using seed one and they're not where I want them to be. So we have to try until we find something that is close to what we want. Like for example, Seed number four is quite good. Seed number five as well. Seven. And seed number eight, I think, uh, is the best candidate for, for my taste. Okay. And the last step is to add your buildings along the roads. So click on this button and after a short while you will have your buildings ready. Remember when we talked about the terrain material, there was one last texture that we couldn't see and that was the uh, urban ground texture. Now that we have a city, we can see this texture. So I switch to the uh, rendered mode. And after a short while, there it is. We can see that around the buildings and around the roads and the city, there is, there, there is a texture displayed on the terrain. You can also control uh, what exact texture you want and how many times it is repeated on the terrain. For that you have to go to the uh, terrain material nodes and you can control it here. So the, the mask is the mask controlling where this texture is displayed on the terrain is this one. And if you want to change the texture, go to the to this group node and you can change the texture here. You can use any one you like or a texture from the library and you control how many times it is displayed, uh, repeated, sorry, on the terrain using these values.